Let us have a look at annotative finishes. If I zoom in on a detail like this, you normally have different text entities within this detailed area. But let's say you want to place that detail at different scales on your sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the sheet and I've already got a couple of viewports at different scales. So you can see 1 in 100, 1 in 50, 1 in 20. Now if you have a look at these viewports you will see that text displays different sizes on your sheet at different scales depending on what the scale of that particular viewport is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to model space. You will see with no object selected object properties will give you options in the list. The first option that I want to point towards is the annotation scale. Currently my model space has an annotation scale of 1 to 50. If I now should select a text entity, you will see it gives me text entities, properties. If I go down, you will see there's an option which says annotative no, which means the text is not annotative. As soon as I change it to yes, you will also find that below that it now gives you an annotation scale of 1 to 50. But that particular bit of text, I don't all only want to see it at 1 to 50. So once I click on that scale, I can also add 1 to 20 and update it. The same I can do for the next text entity. I'm going to make it annotative, yes. And the current scale, add 1 to 20. As well as that bit of text. Annotative, yes. And the current scale, 1 to 20. Okay. Now the last DPC bit of text, I'm also going to make annotative yes, but that one I'm going to say I want it at 1 in 50 as well as 1 in 20 as well as 1 in 100. And I'm going to update that. What does it mean? Well first of all, the text entities in your model space will display differently at different sizes. Now, your model space annotation scale, which is 1 to 50, means currently the way that you see the text is how it will display at the 1 in 50 scale. If I change my annotation scale to 1 to 20, that's now of the model space, you will see the text sizes changes. Now, obviously, you can see the text moved. Well, it actually didn't move. The origin remained where it was. But now the text is far away from the drawing itself. So by selecting text, I can now move the text to there. I can move the 1 to 20 text to there. And I can move the Maranti skirting or the DPC to its position that it should be. Okay, let's have a look at how it looks at 1 in 100. So if I change my model space annotation scale to 1 in 100 once again, you will see changes. So move that back to where it was or it's supposed to be. So just by a quick glance you can now change to 1 in 100, change your model space annotation scale to 1 in 50 and change it to 1 in 20. And you can see exactly the impact that it has in your model space. If I should now go over to the sheets, you will see it doesn't matter what text or what the viewport scale is, all the text will display exactly the same size. You will also note that in the 1 in 100 viewport, there is only a DPC text entity within that viewport. The simple reason for that is I've only added 1 in 100 to the DPC text. All the other text will only display at the viewport scale selected or the annotation scale selected for that particular text entity. So you can also use this as a way of turning text on and off within different viewports relevant or linked to specific viewport scales. Now you will also note when I went into model space, when I moved the text, I selected the text and I moved using the grip point. Why did I do that? The reason for that is if I should go and use text move will move all three display representations for that particular text. 
But in this case, I wanted the 1 in 50 to remain where it is. I only wanted to move the 1 in 20 display representation. So that you will do by moving text using the grip points within text. If we go into our text settings, you will see your text settings as normal. There's a new option in there which, is, which says annotative. That is where you can switch your annotation scale on and off for that particular text that you want to enter. As you've seen just now, you can also, after you've entered text, you can also change it in your object properties. Now, one thing that you have to be aware of is the text entity which I've currently selected has two display representations where the DPC one has three different display representations. We encourage people to only use annotative scales or text or finishes where you've got text in this case that should be displayed at different sizes. Because it has three or two different display representations, it uses more memory as well as your regeneration times or performance are also affected. So you will only use annotation as long as you've got objects that you want to display at different scales in different viewports. Now the same way that you apply annotation to text, you can also apply it to hatch, dimensions, as well as leaders. Once again, if you have a look at that leader, I've only give it, given it the annotation scale of 1 to 50, which means on the sheet it will only display at the 1 in 50 scale, not at any other scales, as well as the hatch. So if I go to my sheet once again, you will see the hatch and leader does not show there. The leader does show there as well as the hatch and in your 1 to 20 it also shows as it should. So the same annotation scale option applies to all your finishes, in other words, text, hatch, dimensions as well as leaders.